um, first by sharing a brief video ex excerpt from this exercise, which provides a short preview of the fictional scenario uh, that we discussed. Thank you. There are growing questions today around a new and deadly outbreak. Scientists determined that this monkeypox virus was engineered. With limited antiviral drugs and no known effective treatments, countries around the world are struggling to control another pandemic with already devastating effects. We're seeing far fewer cases in countries where governments took early and decisive action. And some international experts are urging the WHO to adopt a phased approach to warnings. We asked the exercise participants to engage with a fictional scenario that portrayed a deadly global pandemic involving an unusual strain of monkeypox virus that first emerges in the fictional country of Brynia and eventually spreads globally. Later in the exercise, the scenario reveals that the initial outbreak was caused by a terrorist attack using a pathogen engineered in a laboratory with inadequate biosafety and biosecurity provisions and weak oversight. The exercise scenario concludes with more than 3 billion cases and 270 million fatalities globally. A discussion among exercise participants led to the following key findings. If you could go to the next slide, please. And also, if you could address the spotlight issue uh, project team, thank you. So we, uh, we found uh, uh, four key findings from the from the discussion among exercise participants. First, um, there were weak global detection, assessment, and warning of pandemic risks. So the international community needs a more robust, transparent detection, evaluation, and early warning system that can rapidly communicate actionable, actionable information about pandemic risks. Second, the discussants found um, uh, gaps in national level preparedness. National governments should improve preparedness by developing pandemic response plans to build built upon a coherent system of triggers that prompt anticipatory action despite uncertainty and near term costs. In other words, on a no regrets basis. Third, discussion among participants also revealed gaps in global biological research governance. The international system for governing dual use bioscience research is neither prepared to meet today's uh, security requirements, nor is it ready for significantly expanded challenges in the future. There are risk reduction needs throughout the bioscience research and development life cycle. And finally, the discussant, the discussants at the exercise found insufficient financial planning, financing of international preparedness for pandemics. And many countries around the world lack financing to make the essential national investments um, in really preparing for and responding to uh, large global pandemics. You know, even though I think we all recognize that the world that we've been living in is one where we've seen a lot of nationalism and countries, you know, sort of looking inward, trying to both protect their own people, but also think about um, having systems that exist within their borders, that, that we really do live in a world that is global. And we have to, to step out and address um, systems for global governance. We have to, to step out and address um, systems for global governance. Valakinek kérdése van, javaslata vagy hozzászólása, megtalál minket ezeken az elérhetőségeken, és egyben lehetősége van mindenkinek arra, hogy amennyiben hasznosnak találja a munkánkat, hozzájáruljon ahhoz. Így még több emberhez el tud jutni az információ, és nem csak egy oldalú lesz ez a folyamat. Salom, és üdvözlet mindenkinek! Hadd javasoljam a yahuautja.hu weboldalt, ahol végtelen videót találhattok, és amennyiben hasznosnak találjátok erőfeszítéseinket, és azok épülésetekre volt, támogatásotokkal hozzá is tudtok járulni ehhez. Köszönöm, és halleluja!